it's become more normal for us to receive, on the receiving end of some quite significant criticism. And I think that poses a challenge for all of you who are developing careers in nursing, midwifery, allied health professions like ODP, and those of you who are on foundation degrees who are forming such an important part of, of the health service workforce. And one of the things that really delights me is that I can see that the care of patients and clients is safe in your hands and has been carried forward with an enthusiasm and innovation in your hands. And then we have a team of three who uh, came up with an innovation around improving communication for children and their parents. Uh, we, our service innovation proposal was to improve communication on the children's ward by implementing a wide mouth wristband for children. Yeah, we had to um, make up a kind of proposal that was something that we wanted to improve in practice, basically, to improve the, we went for the care of patients. This was to help um, staff, like housekeepers, other nurses and parents, as well as the children, to remember that they're nearby mouths so the edge slots weren't cancelled and their operations could go through. They had a little space on them where you can write what time they're nil by mouth from and we were going to give them out with children when they're having an operation as well so that they could put it on in the morning before they come to hospital and then they'd remember what time they had to stop eating and drinking. The aim of the wristband was to increase the communication throughout the teams, um, especially with like the catering. When they take around the dinner trolley, sometimes they don't know that a child's nil by mouth so they feed them and then there's a big delay in going to theatre. And overall this will help with costings at the hospital to make sure that their slots aren't cancelled and children have a successful operation. When I read the list of the innovations that you've developed, they're such simple ideas and yet they talk to the things that patients complain, clients complain about most, or the things that clients and patients seem to want most, things that help with communication, things that promote dignity, um, innovations that are going to help them when they're having a particularly difficult time in their lives. And I heard back about a few weeks ago that they're going to use it in practice. Yeah. And it's all evidence-based as well, so we had to um, research why we thought that our innovation was suitable and why it was needed. Um, so our wristband would remind them to put it on and remind the whole family that they shouldn't be eating or drinking. Our ideas are now being used in our hospital. We have a group of people here today who aren't just talking about caring for patients and aren't just saying that they're going to improve the patient experience. You've actually done things that can make a real difference. But I must just say that I really am proud of what you've done today and I think it really shows how we all work together. So although we've got the money, we've got the practice people here supporting you, we work closely with the HEIs at all levels, so I just think that's really nice that everyone counts and we're out here for patient care. So our idea was to have a text messaging service um, where you can text the patient and tell them a, a, a time window, a time frame of when you would be there. So it could be you know, a two hour window or a half hour window, um, so that they can plan their day better. Improve communication with uh, district nurses and patients in the community. So touching on the six C's and the NHS constitution, we were looking at communication with um, patients and improving that. What we identified, both working in our separate roles within the community, was that uh, when we arrived at patients' homes, that you know they were unaware of what time we would be there, and they have needs themselves. For example, washing and dressing. They might have visitors coming round and things like that, and they couldn't um, always plan their day, um, knowing whether we were going to turn up or not or what time, should I say, we would turn up or not. Um, we appreciate that maybe, depending on the age of the patient, it might be a little bit technical for them, but 
we don't feel that would be a major issue if we could simplify it in some way. Some of the equipment you can have in patients' homes just on loan, if they've got a mobile phone, they could have a messaging device that um, they could have in their home and it would just come up, you have a message, they press it and it says your district nurse will arrive between 10 and 12, something like that. We thought it was a great idea, but then we thought we were up against a lot of other students, so maybe, you know, it won't get a look in. But it did, we got a nice um, email back from um, SET, the, the trust in Harlow, um, who said that it was something they'd had um, a little thought on before, but never really moved forward with it, and that us bringing it to their attention again was something they'd definitely like to look into. Um, but we also found evidence that other researchers had done um, which backed up what the patients were saying, so that was quite quite good and that was quite easy to find from our education of how to find research at Anglia Ruskin University. As service users, we hope that with our input in a role, play a role, we can get you to think outside the box by giving you some of the everyday challenges you are likely to face in your job as a nurse and to get you to utilize and practice care, commitment, courage, compassion, communication, and to be competent, as well as to become adept in your practical skills. What you do <coughs> makes a difference, <coughs> and you have to decide what kind of difference you want to make. We feel like we're handing over a society that's established has its kind of ideals and has some objectives and we've handed that over and we're pleased to see that the new committee has some positive ideas um, and we've kind of reintroduced to them the fact that you know the society was set up not only for the students but in mind of taking you know patient safety and innovation forward and so we kind of realized in that that you know yes we've, we've catered for our students but we're all going to be going out as registered practitioners and so it's important again to kind of take it forward and, and just kind of go that extra mile so we're quite confident that the new committee are going to kind of keep our ideals but we'll be taking it a step further so we're quite pleased with that. I think also although we have focus on students and student experience I don't think we've the emphasis still is still about patient safety and, and, and patient experience um, and I mean I recently carried out a, uh, an audit um, where I led the audit and it was supervised by a paediatric anaesthetic consultant and we found out there was excessive variations between the types of surgery children were having and the pain relief that were, they were discharged with um, and off the back of that um, the hospital has decided to standardise all TTAs for paediatric patients so they've introduced uh, a new hospital policy, um, a local policy which has been approved by the anaesthetist and by the head of pharmacy. Um, it's been incredibly inspiring um, to meet those of you who've developed innovations and um, to look at the innovations um, that you are developing and to know that those are going to be taken forward and they will make a difference to patients. We know that um, health workers make a difference to patients and, and it's a great thing to know that you are um, so early in your careers um, beginning a wonderful um, uh, sort of um, journey in, in, in terms of making that difference. What I would say to you though is that as part of your journey as a health care student you've had some wonderful support, um, you've had support from practice education providers and clinical staff and you've had support from um, lecturers within the university and I would invite um, all of you now who have had awards just to show a vote of thanks to those who have helped you uh, develop and make the journey to where you are now.